referee tonight is Oliver Langford. It's a late challenge there on Jacob Brown. Advantage given for now. Brancic will bring in Josh Tymon. Sawyers on Tymon with an early chance. Didn't quite open up for him. Back into Fletcher! Off the post! Not even a mere goal at Stoke City, so close to breaking the deadlock. Tymon back to Branchich, who coaxed that ball in beautifully. And Fletcher hitting the upright. wasn't good at all. The challenge couldn't be made on Brown, otherwise it could quite easily have been a red card for Callas. But Brown in the end didn't catch it right. Allen, the skipper on the charge. Soyuz. Allen. Fletcher dropping off. Hyman playing with his man and he's beaten Scott brilliantly. He's brought into Fletcher! He's hit the bar as well now. Brown going down and he can seize the free kick. He's hit the frame with the goal twice now, Stephen Fletcher. Brilliant play by Josh Tyman in the build-up. Fletcher arrived at pace. But couldn't keep his header down. Inch perfect from Tymon. A couple of inches away by Fletcher. Another long throw on the way here from Tomas Kalas. Came back from international duty with Czech Republic early after a bit of a problem with his toe. It was an unused sub against Kuwait as well, so he had a couple of weeks rest but has contributed a couple of big errors in recent matches for Bristol City looking to provide here and he has done turn in by Bakinson the long throw works out and the midfielder arrived at the perfect time to score his first goal since April Callas tossed it in the flick on by Martin, and Bakinson did the rest. It's exactly what they wanted, and they worked it down to a tee. Stoke come again, Smith. Can't force it towards goal here, Stoke, and Bristol City may punish them on the breakaway. A yellow card on the way. And Joe Allen was not prepared to let his man travel any further there. Scott. Breaks of Vyman. They've got two over here, Bristol City. Odell de Rilly, Bart away. Scott. And it's the direct approach again, it yields a corner. Can Bristol City give themselves a cushion at half time? Driven back through and the deflection over the top. It was initially hit by Joe Williams. And then diverted over in the end. Fletcher with the initial header away. And Callas was the man to stick out a leg. Oh, was looking long on the diagonal. Baconson.
timing. Vrancic. Timon's made a great run ahead of him here. Fletcher waiting in the middle. Timon across towards Soyuz. I'm not sure if he was expecting it. Just bouncing off his chest in the end. Into the grateful arms of Bentley. Bart looking for Fletcher. That's lovely. Timon. Only Brown in the middle. Smith there now as well. Brancic. A tough tackle on him, and the referee is blown in Stokes' favour. Well, Brancic was caught, no doubt about that. But he did jump in. It will be a yellow, but it could have been more. Can he come up with some magic here, Mario Brancic? No, he can't. That's another free kick, though. An over-aggressive challenge. Brancic in towards Chester, who goes down. And Stokes screaming here at the referee for a penalty, but they get a corner. Chester saying he was pushed by the defender who was Thomas Callas. He made no attempt there to win the ball. Stoke corner. Pressure building. Collins of challenges in there inside the penalty area. Bart had his shirt being pulled. Ostergaard went down. Defending there from Masengo. Really wasn't defending, was it? Look here. Not necessarily any blame on the referee, but the assistant Stephen Meredith certainly should have seen that. That's a better corner and the header wide when it really should have gone in for Chester. Still after his first goal in Stoke Coast. And that should have been the first. And we've got two minutes left of the 90. Chester concedes the corner. Over the top here, and Campbell is onto it. A chance here for Tyrese Campbell, which he can't take. The opportunity Stoke were hoping was going to come. Nicely worked. He was in behind. And really, he'd have only gone for goal because Ince wasn't close enough to him. Allen. Doughty loses that. As does Allen. And he gives away the free kick here. Already on the yellow cards. And Bristol City asking the question. And it's a question which is going to be answered here with a yellow card. And that, for Joe Allen, means a red. Stoke City's misery compounded with a dismissal late on. They're second in as many games. And having won at the weekend, it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. They're certainly not going to win. It doesn't look like they'll get a point either. And their captain is sent off. Deep, deep into added time. Timon. Pass Fletcher. Header into the air by Pring. Doughty. Sees his cross cleared. Cleared, sorry, by Viner. One long throw left here for Stoke, maybe. But no, there is no more time. And Bristol.
Manchester City with another rare home win. After what has been a testing 2021 here in BS3, they get the job done. And no big win to stave off any fears of relegation. Tiny Bakington with the only goal of the game in the end, shortly before half-time. Stoke City's winning run comes to an end here in the West Country. The full-time score here at Ashton Gate, Bristol City 1, Stoke City 0.